on the admin certification questions and answers. This is a recent set of questions which appeared in winter 2021. And I hope these questions will be useful for you in your certification preparation. And also, if you have any uh, questions or clarification, or if you need some study material, do send me an email, which is in the description. And as usual, subscribe to my channel and follow this video. I hope this is helpful for you guys. So let's get started with this new series. Let's begin. Is a user has created a customized dashboard permission. Which additional permission will this user need to rename a dashboard? Another user has saved to the department's publicly shared dashboards and report folder. So we have these options create and customize reports, manage <coughs> custom reports types, manage dashboards in public folder and the create report folder so i think create report folder and create customized reports i think that's only specific to you you know you can create report folder but create and customize report will be available only to your personal reports and manage custom report types i don't think that exists but manage dashboards in public folder is something which can be the right answer and it is the right answer and let's let me show you in this reference link as well okay so here in this user permission for sharing reports and dashboard <clears throat> if you come down you can see here create and customize dashboard so basically you can create edit delete dashboard in my personal dashboard and same with this report which is specific to my personal custom reports and create report folder you can just create report folder report folder and manage them if sharing rights allow and you have this one manage dashboards in public folder where you can you know create edit delete dashboards and manage the sharing in all public dashboard folders so this is specific to our question so manage dashboard folder dashboards in the public folder would be the right candidate for the answer and that is the right answer compared to the other options what we have okay so let's move on okay which feature should urs major solar use if they want to support <clears throat> if they want to support agents who are skilled in particular product line to own cases directly after customers logged in from the from an automated channel <clears throat> okay so assignment rules yes why not case escalation rules it's just to escalate the case you know not to assign by then it would have already been assigned and you know customers just escalate it saying my case is not being attended to and workflow field update <clears throat> so this can also be done but this little tricky as compared to the assignment rules because by default we have assignment rules to you know provided by salesforce to easily assign and case to routine i don't think that exists so i would say the correct answer is assignment rule and why it is let's go and check out okay so automate the organization lead generation and support process so this assignment rule is also for lead as well you can assign both lead and the case and if you scroll down here you can see case assignment rules can assign cases regardless of how the case are created and it either it's created manually or automatically using any of these channel so with this assignment rules you can you know assign the case to any specific user and the example given is like if the rating is hot then assign it to support queue which the user may be there or you can directly assign it to that user okay so the assignment rules would be the right fit for this one and let's go to the next one ums wants to assign a lightning for outlook layout which two options can ums assign this level to so let's go to the reference first for this one
okay assign users to salesforce for outlook configuration so here if you come down steps are given after you define basic information for salesforce outlook configuration you select the salesforce for outlook users that configuration settings will apply so you just in the quick find box find the outlook configuration and modify an, or create a new outlook configuration and in the third step you can see assign users and profile section select either profile or users in the search drop down so as per this the correct answer would be user and profile okay moving on we have even as so some images well, wants to utilize salesforce knowledge which statement accurately describes the knowledge okay the option a knowledge base that uses machine learning to generate an article to solve customer support issue no i don't think so it doesn't use any machine learning and b an automatic tool that closes the case based on the historical information no there is no automatic tool uh, from the knowledge side to close the cases based on historical information and again an automatic automated machine learning tool that can lead that can lead to opportunities leads to opportunities given a predefined set of condition now again there is no machine learning tool c is also not not the right uh, answer and i would say a knowledge base that can be returned and utilized by the support agents yes this is the right answer a knowledge base that can be returned and utilized by the support agent so let me take you to the reference okay here we are oh uh, no here we are website is client partner service and ultimate support to create and manage knowledge base with your company information and say securely share it with where is needed so let me see where is exactly defined here so the experienced service agents and internal writers write the articles so there is no automated tool or anything of that sort machine learning no automated tool it's just experienced service agent and internal writers write the articles and that will be published internally or in some cases externally in the public websites and share article on social media post and emails so that's about this one so let's go back to this one and let's go to the next question sales executives at ms no it's ms frequently schedule virtual and remote meetings with key customer stakeholders csm wants to track activities for this meeting category to clearly display customer meetings in account contact opportunity page layout as well as adding this data to the reports what should the administrator do to meet this goal a add a new value to the type field on the account contact and opportunity yes and inform the user to manually enter meeting details in the account comments no that's something which you cannot use in the report and that's not the you know client approach when it comes to admin okay and and that also we have account contact and opportunity so there is no mention of contact and opportunity and add a new value to the type field on the task used for account contact and the opportunity yes okay and inform the users to manually enter the meeting in the description field of the account contact and the opportunity again this is not the right answer there's no need to manually enter the description field and also if you use that in the description you cannot add this data to the reports that that's not the right format so the correct answers would be add a new value to the type field on the task we already have a task and uh, you know, activities on account contact and opportunity so we should be adding as suppose a, a, a meeting type to this pick list type field which will serve the purpose and here it says type field on the account contact opportunity which is not uh, you know, right but it has to be type field on the task so let me go to the reference we have a type field called i mean we have a type field at the task and activities level i'm just trying to show it so these are the task fields so we have 
type field it indicates the task type for example email or meeting limit for the values in the, in the quick list of 40 characters so it's a 40 characters quick list so you can say a new type of meeting which will be recorded under the account contact opportunity saying that a new meeting has been conducted and what are the details so that you can easily you know pull it in the report as well and uh, that's it let's go back okay so let's move on to the next one <coughs> universal container puts a priority the confidentiality of their customers you see wants to limit users who have access to an account record to be allowed to see the contacts related to the account which contact sharing setting should an administrator config to meet this request a controlled by parent public read write public read only and private so public read write uh, no it's not right obviously because anybody can see the content it's not the case and public read only again if anybody can see it has to be between a and d so at the contact you know we have uh, you know access level uh, you know security settings for the contact object specifically we have something called control by parent so even though you can set this to private but whoever the contact owner who can see but he may not be in the account as well or he may or may not have a contact access so i would say a control by parent is the right answer let's go to the reference and consideration for sharing sharing and accessing the contacts and here you can see you can't state and here you go if your organization org wide default for the contact is set to control by parent the contact access options aren't available when you share related records such as accounts instead all access to contact is determined by the user's access to accounts contact so it is controlled by parent which is the right answer here moving on okay UMS wants to have an opportunity dashboard that will show only opportunities owned by the viewer of the dashboard. Which two settings to administer, administrator, I think it's typo, parentheses, use to satisfy this request. <clears throat> okay. Set the opportunity or by default to private. Set the opportunity or by default to public read only. I don't think so. Set the view dashboard as to the dashboard viewer. Now set the view dashboard as to me. Okay. So by seeing, you know, we can see like these two are the right or not right answer for this case. It would be set the opportunity or by default to private. And there are two answers for it. And the other one is set view dashboard as to me. And I have two links for this. Let's go to the first one, which is no ex control access to records <clears throat> so we have here all the private public read only so the private says only the record owner and the users above in the role hierarchy can view edit and report on those records so the first answer goes to this reference at the opportunity or by default to private and let's go to the second reference which says okay select running user to specify which data to display which is nothing but you know if you run as a specified user the dashboard runs using security settings of that single specific users but if you run as a logged in user which is logged in as like run as me which uses the security settings of that user if whatever access i have i'll be able to see that one so it, the question doesn't say specified user but who user whoever is logged in you should be able to see his records based on his access level so run logged in as user is the right answer for this and also like you know if you run as a specified user i think this only administrator can do and if you don't have view all data only choose yourself yeah so you have to be 
above this person or be an administrator to see so the right answer for this would be run as logged in user which with which you'll be able to see all the records which you have access okay so a and d would be the right answer let's go to the next one when a new support case is submitted universal containers want to provide the case owner account owner and the customer with the confirmation of the case number okay how should an administrator automate this request okay a case escalation rule configure a configure a workflow rule activate an assignment rule and dependent auto response rule <coughs> so b i mean a escalation rule is not applicable here because it's just to escalate the case if the case is not attended in a you know, predefined time or hours it, it this will be helpful but this, that's not the case in this question and configure a workflow is possible and activate an assignment rule this is also not relevant because it is to assign the case and depend auto response rule this is also possible but so <clears throat> here the question says the case owner account owner and customer so in the auto response rule i don't think you have that luxury to select the recipient it will be just you have to enter some common or you know a group email address or predefined email address so that's why i would say configure a workflow rule where you can define i mean where you can pick the case owner account owner and the customer using the merge field and then send an email alert so the correct answer would be configure a workflow rule let's go and check the reference i have the auto response rule here i'm just telling anyway you know in the workflow you can send an email alert but i'm just explaining here why auto response rules cannot be used auto response rules and workflow email alert are similar functionality but this table lists some of the difference between the workflow alert and auto response rule so you can decide which one to use okay here it says workflow email <coughs> and here you can send email to anyone you choose but here contact on the case of the person who submitted the lead but that's the you know main difference between these two and that's why the workflow uh, configuring the workflow email is the right answer for this one this is basically the difference between these two i thought it's only auto response anyway so workflow is the right answer on your own the support team has asked the administrator to create a guided process that allows rep to use scripted screen to collect the appropriate information which tool should the administrator use okay i think this is pretty straightforward so the process builder workflow rules and approval process all runs in the background and if you want scripted screen to collect appropriate information it has to be the lightning flow i would say the lightning flow and why there is a flow already but they have introduced a lightning flow i'm just showing you here what this lightning flow does you can see anyone can declare to build an ml component based lightning fast and here you can see with the new lightning flow you can create guided visual process with lightning components and easily add them to record app portal or console or else. so we already had flow but this is something called new i mean this is something new with lightning the flow with lightning using the lightning components you can define the flow that's again serves the purpose of this question which will be to collect information using the stupid screen okay let's go to the next one northern trail outfitters want to encourage employees to choose secure and appropriate passwords for their salesforce account which three password policies should an administrator configure okay so password complexity requirement number of days until expiration and maximum email login prohibited password values and required user password manager app so i don't think these two have uh, these two has any options which is those so 
password the correct answer b good value of an attempt password complexity and number of base until expiration so let me show you in this reference link okay aside password policies here you can see what all the policies are available user password expires in number of days until expiration which is b and password complexity requirement which will be a password complexity requirement and maximum invalid login attempts maximum invalid login attempts is the right answer and you cannot find these two prohibited or require user password manager app so that's it abc is the right answer for this question